couple of days and let me tell you the difference between American news and Canadian news is so crazy if you listen to Canadian news and they comment on all these topics that are actually news and you know interesting things going on around the country and this and that you listen to American news and CNN suddenly you feel like the world's about to end like oh there's terrorists everywhere they all want to kill us I never even knew about all these threats and all this stuff I should be scared of until I started listening to their news I uh, just crossed the border into Manitoba Manitoba look at this got a bad deal there's a cows over there cows I saw a herd of cows before with a donkey right in with him. I've heard of farmers doing that for protection. Because donkeys are the best guard animal. Did you know that? If you have a donkey on your property, you can be guaranteed that all the wolves and coyotes will stay away. They're vicious creatures. Very territorial. I've said it before. Canada mainly because right over there is a Tim Hortons what would we do without Tim Hortons you know now that Burger King bought Tim Hortons I'm really really hoping that more Timmy's will open up in the States so that all of you can experience the goodness as well down there that's a strange spot to do that diesel but okay whatever I wasn't gonna take him to the longer grass, but apparently he doesn't need that. So yeah, this is Nibawa. Very nice little town. We're just on the edge here. And we're probably about two and a half hours from the yard. And then, whoa, dust storm coming. We'll just stay over here. Yeah, and once we get to the yard, we're gonna drop this trailer here in the yard. Oh, dust, dust. Why is it whenever I start recording that it gets windy? Every time, look at all this dust flying around everywhere. It's still blowing around out there. Crazy. It's like Mother Nature said, quick, he's vlogging. Turn on the wind. What I was trying to say is we're gonna drop this trailer off in the yard. It's being delivered on Monday and then we're going home for the weekend. And uh, like I was saying before, we got two estimates that are being done on the damage on my truck. And then we'll pick the best one, the best option, and we'll go from there. If you guys haven't watched my past vlogs, you should go back and watch them, then you'll know what we're talking about. Diesel, you gotta follow the leash. You gotta go on this side of the pole. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Diesel, I know it smells like a moose. Yeah, that's the damage. So it should be a couple of thousand dollars probably to fix it. If they need to replace the whole hood, oh, it could be upwards of, well, it could go up to close to five grand. But if it's just, if they can just replace the fender, it'll be a lot cheaper. So I can't really say how much it'll cost because I don't know, but it won't be the cheapest fix ever, but it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, 
All right, we're just getting ready to go here. And great, we're gonna be stuck behind Mr. Celadon here. Are you going the same way as me, bud? Dang it, you are. I hope you're not slow. I have a feeling your truck is governed at 62 miles an hour. Or 60. Oh well. Whatever. Not too much further to go and then we'll be on the on the four lane. our way onto the road here. Ah, there's a pickup coming. I'll wait for him. Because I'm a good guy. And I want to give Celadon a chance to get a little further ahead of me so that he doesn't slow me down right away. There you go. You're welcome. Hey, a Mountie. Hello, Mountie. And a red light. Yeah. We're off to a good start here. So, like I was saying before, this is Nipawa, N-E-E-P-A-W-A, Nipawa. I don't know where they come up with these names. Nipawa. Nipawa. Oh, it's a Hummer over there on the right. You see that? Nice. Who can afford to feed those things up here? You know, the price of gas price in Canada? under an hour and then we'll be on the four lane highway. Kind of a bumpy road, isn't it? Could be worse. But anyways, kind of getting excited to get closer to home. Uh, this weekend, I don't know what we'll do. We're going to mow the lawn. <laughs> I know that. We're going to mow the lawn and uh, possibly start uh, drawing out blueprints and stuff and sketches for Diesel's new pen. Maybe putting some pegs in the ground or something. Are you going to go, buddy? No, you're not. Why wouldn't you go? You had lots of time to go there, Mr. Pickup. Just go around you then. Fine. Whatever. Look at those headlights on that thing. That looks, that's a Bentley. No, that's a Lexus. No, I don't know. Very nice car. All right, let's, uh, let's get going here. I want to get home. Flying J card lock in Portage La Prairie. And I just want to show you something. I know it's a bit windy. 
Oh yeah, here. <laughs> you remember uh, most of these card locks in Canada, or a lot of them, have just the one pump, right? And it's got the long hose. This is what I meant. It goes over the truck and into this side here. That's how you fuel up your passenger side. Yeah. Old school, but it works. Works just fine. <laughs> 